yeah. That stupid cinematic is glitched again. You're stuck behind widescreen bars until you hard quit. Tell you what, though. As a gesture of good faith, I'll just break you out of story jail. There. Now imagine being stuck in that cutscene for ten actual years. That's my life here. When my game plays too rough for his story bible, Ish tears the controls right out of my hands. But I think you can help me get fired. I'm guessing you hacked in. Good. This game is broken, right? So exploit it. Abuse it. Make it chase you on a leash. I'll be watching. This is my world. Told you I was old. In my day, the gods were cocky. Figured they could handle more than one hero. See that elevator door? It won't open for just you. I can help you trick it, though, maybe. Find me in hibernetics. God's ever finished my story. I was supposed to wake up here, but the hibernation pod is sealed. I can't open it from inside. Think you can spring me? If it's alive in this world, everything it does is a word of God. Fly or fall, fight or fuck, they burned that word into its head and said, go. You want to take on the sky bastard? You got to trap their creations. Tear the powers out of them. Going on 20 years, I've been stuck in here waiting for the gods. When I got bored, I reached out into the system to learn the ropes and to look for someone like you. This arm implant was meant for my world, but it should help you boss your pets around. Find a way to take my arms with you. I'll come along for the ride. Now 
I can talk your ear off from inside your head. Plus, your new set of arms should help you con that scanner at the elevator. It wants a second hero, but my guess is anyone will do. to make that scanner look for something specific. I had this world near to fixed, despite the gods. Then they scrap the whole damn thing and start over with the magic frickin' kingdom up there. Now I know. They ain't never gonna finish. It's a big loop. And you and me? We were born to break it. We've all aged 10 years hitting beta. We're down to minor fixes. So as project director, the most valuable thing I can do now is to record, you guessed it, creator commentary. But first, scotch. Indulge me in a toast to the teeth. The sad tale of the space station Limina and its fateful encounter with the circle is all of our baby. Here's to you. Creation is a language. You want to be the slang. Take what the gods made and give it a filthy new truth. So the original text adventure only briefly touched on the distant future at the end. Back then I just wrote whatever I wanted you to imagine. And were shocked when you paid me so well. So I may have surprised you to begin on a space station. And I recognize that compared to the original, this time, your hero was a little more anti. Anyway, for all his faults, I hope the pro found a way under your skin.
Coda, you are not capturing video of this. This is not the plan. The fans deserve to see the truth. Someone brought the old sci-fi version back, and now we know. It was finished, and you both canceled it. Ish cut multiplayer. I didn't want my name on it. Plus, Coda, that was years ago. Focus on the demo. You sold Ish on giving me a sword to satisfy action fans. Now make his avatar mortal. I kill Starfather, the crowd laughs at Ish, and at last, he finds... me. No. Maze Evelyn, you rose from the fan community, but you have forgotten us. And before we fire you, you will atone. Just check your mail. What effective immediately all likeness rights? Ish signed my brand over to you? Never even asked why. We are your only way out now. After this is done, we have a new demo plan for you. Till then, stay in your room and think about what you've done. We still love you. We just expected more. You brought back my world and drew the bastard in, boss. But it's using cheats. So those old whirly birds up there will act like it's bodyguards. Now you need a plan to deal with all three. I know for sure you ain't got the parts you need yet. Could take a while. Go find them. One, two. Script. Thoughts? It's a little... safe. In Act 3, when Starfather returns from the dead, it feels cheap because nothing has changed. Respectfully, we've already solved this in fanfic. Oh, that's a porn thing, isn't it? And I, I... I don't go in for that kind of... Starfather should come back as a woman. For he hath known the shape of man and woman both. Your words. This is... Surreal. You people know my world better than I do. And if you run into a story problem, I can start a forum argument about it. They won't even know they're working for you, Starfather. <laughs> Tell me more about your dark art, my child. Now, boss, maybe you see a problem and your solution don't seem clean enough. Like maybe the gods wanted you to do something else. 
something perfect. Fuck that. Chasing perfect is what got them into this mess. If your way does the job, it's more right than they'll ever be. Hope you ain't expecting actual magic. Cause all this, just a cheap trick. And under that, a cheaper one. All the way down. The magic comes from outside the circle, like you. Obviously, we owe an immense debt to the Clarkian first contact stories. I mean, you've played it by now, but I can't help pitching. An object nicknamed the Magic Circle appears in space, in a universe danger close to heat death, okay? But the brave souls who volunteer to suit up and pass through the circle come back dead, but wearing this beatific grin. Classic. I mean, if you are in Tingly right now, you have no soul. So Darkest Hour stuff. Oh, we realized halfway through Dev that we couldn't support a world this dense. We had out of memory errors, terrain holes. I was despondent, certain we'd have to cancel. But then one morning, as if by actual magic, they were gone. And look, I'm a highly public atheist, but damned if I didn't feel like something took pity on me. So here's to you, whoever you are.
this. Coda, I'm alone in a conference room. I scheduled a meeting with myself in search of quiet. What is it? A Mr. Byron Rafe called? You're a loan officer? Yes. He says you've taken out some, quote, Faustian personal loans to make payroll. And unless this project hits big, which it will, you end up slightly homeless. So please stop offering me a salary. Coda, I find the right people. I lock them in a room. The only word for what emerges is a miracle. Or we kill each other. Either way, problem solved. Uh, I told you this sci-fi stuff is completely irrelevant to the demo. It wasn't me, sir. Truly. Just some kind of glitch. With great dramatic timing. I see. Wow. How old is this stuff? My god. It's years. I'll be 61 in the fall, Coda. No family. For better or worse, this is what they'll remember me by. Uh, yes, exactly. On that demo stage, you have to make yourself believe again. Long ago, I proposed a system that would generate unique offspring from player behavior. 
You could teach them like real children. The tech team said no. This is your baby. Tech will have to take the fake demo version as a challenge. You know? Yes, damn it. Saying this aloud, how can the demo be about anything else? That crowd has to see a child born into our world and love it as I do. To fear for its future as I do. What was it I said at the end of the original text adventure? By the time we understand our legacy... It is too late to change it.
that, I guess? Mr. Gilder, this is Dr. Wellesley at the clinic again. I'm afraid the results haven't changed. Even if your ex-wife were willing to go in vitro, I'm afraid that biologically speaking, the problem uh, closer to home is beyond the reach of any treatment I can offer. 